It's a world where women are in charge. Men spend their days grooming and shaving at home. Women hone their bodies and earn a living. Men casually walk the streets in short shorts. Women honk their horns if you are too beautifully dressed, and it is not uncommon to be hit on occasionally. All the company secretaries were men. While the executives were all women, Jack was baffled by all this. He had accidentally stumbled into this upside-down world. Just a few days ago, Jack was a company executive. He proudly introduced his creative app to his boss. But that can made Anna, a female colleague, feel uncomfortable. Jack's flippant explanation drew ridicule from the men in the room. The male colleagues even congratulated him on the success of the product. Jack then goes to his friend John's bookshop. As usual, his can for prey. Whenever he spotted one, he would start his tried and tested pickup line. But that didn't work with the new clerk, Mary. He asked when he'd see her again, but Mary said never. Undaunted, Jack went back to checking out all the pretty girls along the street. He was so busy looking at them that he didn't notice the pole in front of him and ran right into it. Jack was so happy that he fainted. He woke up to a female paramedic. His best friend John kept complaining that they were being chased by two female gangsters. After the incident was resolved, Jack suddenly felt his jeans had shrunk. When he arrives home, John, who is married, gives him a goodbye kiss. The man wakes up to a bedspread in girly pink. He looks in his wardrobe and sees all the colors of the flowers. How can a man wear such bright colors? So he puts on a pair of plain sweatpants. He didn't realize that the trousers could be so flirty. When he came to the office, all his colleagues became beautiful women. The male colleagues were responsible for serving tea and water, and Anna became Jack's boss. Just when he was trying to pick up something, Anna hinted that she liked Jack very much. Suddenly Jack was shocked by Anna's hairy legs. He couldn't take it, and Anna fired him outright. He goes to the pub to calm down, but he sees two men in turbans being evicted by the owner. The men accuse the owner of discriminating against men. It's a crazy world. Desperate, Jack runs straight back to his parents' house. His mother, who doesn't usually work, is making pastries. And his father was chatting to a customer about his manicure. Then his father started nagging him to get married. Mother told father to keep quiet. This world is so strange. Jack thought he was mentally ill, but the doctor said his symptoms were normal. Jack remembered that he lost his mind the day he knocked over the signpost. The man ran to the signpost and hit it as hard as he could. But nothing happened. He went to his best friend John's house. His son was dressed in a fashionable plunging neckline. John is also diligently cleaning the house. Suddenly John's wife water broke due to the excitement of watching the game. She said she could handle it. Then she stood up and gave birth in the hospital. John immediately resigned from his job. He had to take six months maternity leave to look after his wife and child at home. But the boss tried to keep him. The man told his friend that he could help. The friend told his boss on the phone that he didn't have to resign. At night, a lonely Jack goes to a bar to relax. Unable to resist a woman's advances, the two return home with passion. However, when the woman saw Jack's thick chest hair, it was like seeing a monster, saying she couldn't accept how a man could be so unkempt. The woman turned round and slammed the door. Jack thought to himself that since he was in such a world, he had to follow the customs. So he went through the pain of waxing and dressed up like the magazines. Finally, when he thought he was ready, he arrived at his boss's house. Mary, the boss, is so spontaneous that she not only appreciates Jack's outfit, but also lets him touch her abs. Jack's job is also very simple, just taking care of Mary's daily life and calculating the accounts. Jack was frustrated that a seven-foot man had to do such a simple job, but the boss is very enthusiastic. All her behavior was just like the way Jack used to flirt with girls. Jack returned the keys in anger and said he didn't belong in this world. He said he shouldn't listen to the women. The women didn't want to hear his macho talk and left. The writer was stuck in a creative rut. Jack's presence inspired her. So, she asked Jack out again. No matter how much she showed her feelings, Jack always had a bitter smile on his face. Isn't this exactly the face he used to flirt with girls? Mary sincerely expressed her desire to hear Jack's detailed account of his world. With a bit of drunkenness, Jack confessed his love for Mary to his heart's content. But in this world, men are weak. Mary didn't take advantage of him. Instead, she called a car to escort Jack home. So sincere and measured, in order to conquer a man's heart and provide himself with creative material. But Jack also wants to conquer his boss, Mary. Unbeknownst to him, Mary had secretly recorded their conversation. She said she'd dump him once she'd finished using him. Since then, Mary has been sending him flowers and bringing him to her parties. In a world where women are superior to men, Jack is gradually assimilated into the world and is convinced that he has found the love of his life. He learned how to do housework from the video and aspired to be a good husband. But one day, there was an unexpected visitor in the house. He scribbles on the bedroom walls and accuses Mary of being a scumbag. She collects man-like objects and puts a marble in a bottle for each one she conquers. The man says he's been stupid enough to fall for women in the past. Jack confronts Mary with the marbles. 
But Mary bites back, and says Jack used to play with many women's feelings in the same way. Jack felt so ridiculous, that he had to repeat all the tricks he had played before. It hurts so much to be hurt by your lover. After the breakup, Mary takes up boxing and resigns from her publisher. Choosing to stop writing her novel, Jack joined a men's rights organization to protest against women's rights. In countless days and nights, Jack often started to cry in response to his feelings, because he had already fallen in love with Mary. Unexpectedly, the next day, Mary asked Jack out. Their deep love for each other made it impossible for them to forget each other, so they got back together again. However, during the publisher's protest, Jack learned from his boss that Mary had used him, and that Mary was already married with a child. He rushed home in a rage and finally found the marriage certificate. He angrily finds Mary and accuses her of hurting and cheating on him. Mary tried to explain that she loved him. Jack slapped her across the face, and then the two of them fought. They both passed out. When Mary awoke, the streets were filled with beautiful women in short skirts. Women are flooding the streets. They chanted slogans about equal rights for men and women, calling for change. Mary realized she has traveled into Jack's parallel world. This is the 2018 French comedy film, I Am Not An Easy Man. A man accidentally travels into a world where the status of men and women is reversed. He goes from being the strongest man to the weakest. He slowly adapts to the rules of this new world, only to be hurt by an equally strong woman in the same way he once was. He and the woman fought and both fainted. The woman accidentally travels to the men's parallel world. The end of the film is undoubtedly magical. In a world where values and mindsets are fixed, it's very difficult to change perceptions. But the world is changing rapidly. Any notion of inequality or discrimination that is hidden in the corners of life will eventually be overthrown. In a world where freedom and love are the constant themes between people, men and women have equal rights. Each person has his or her own unique color. I'm Bulldog Movie. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.